Welcome to In Bed with Luxury and welcome to Jamaica. This is Charles Paddington. We are driving along a winding road in the Blue Mountains and I have to make a confession. The place we are going to lacks what most Jamaica visitors are looking for. A beach, palm trees, nightly shows and maybe over-the-top five-star luxury. And yet, secluded Strawberry Hill is my favorite hotel on the island. And I think given the special experience of a mountain retreat in the Caribbean and the glitz of so many megastars of the music business that had been here, the rates are almost a bargain. If you plunge into the pool here or drink a rum cocktail at the bar, keep in mind that the Rolling Stones did the same here and Bob Marley, Bono, the Cranberries, Roxy Music, Grace Jones, Sting and so forth. Strawberry Hill used to be a coffee and tea plantation and is located high over Kingston in 3,100 feet or 940 meters above sea level in Jamaica's famous Blue Mountains. In 1972, one of the most influential men in the global music industry in the 70s and 80s, Chris Blackwell, the owner of Island Records, bought it and turned it into an off-limits for the public getaway for his mega-famous recording artists. Today, Strawberry Hill is a luxury retreat with a restaurant that attracts not only demanding foreign visitors, but also business and high-income Kingstonians. At the bar, you might try a good cocktail, like a Strawberry Bliss, that sparkling wine, strawberry puree and orange juice, or a Blue Mountain Mist, a Tropical Storm, a Jamaica Delight, I love these names, or a Blackwell Rum Punch. Chris Blackwell produces his own rum. It tastes really good and I'm not getting paid for saying so. It's nice to sip a cocktail and try to feel the vibrations of music that the charismatic British Jamaican multimillionaire once produced. You might think of Cat Stevens, Jethro Tull, or what about La Vie en Rose, one of my favorites with Grace Jones. And when the nightly lights of Kingston twinkle in the distance as the stars do high above the surrounding Blue Mountains, it gets magic. Strawberry Hill is set on 26 acres or 10 hectares, lush tropical gardens on top of a mountain and it takes a one hour drive from Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston to come up here. The fare will be between 80 and 100 euros. There are 14 romantic wooden villas and cottages so there's plenty of privacy and intimacy. 
The views are sometimes breathtaking. But mind, the air up here in the Blue Mountains is notably cooler than you might expect on a Caribbean island, so pack some warm layers. All rooms feature private balconies, hardwood floors, jalousy, shutters, specially commissioned mahogany furniture and four poster beds with mosquito nets. All in all, the villas and cottages give you a wonderful British colonial feeling, enhanced by the beautiful tropical plants outside. The property also features a spa and an infinity pool. In the main building, the so-called Great House, you will find the restaurant and the bar, the cozy library room and a little shop. Welcome to Mr. Paddington's Villa at Strawberry Hill. It's a two-story building, very beautiful, called Highgate and among many others, the Prince and Princess of Japan and Kate Moss stayed here before. Let's enjoy once more a magic nightly moment at Strawberry Hill and then you are invited to a time travel. We look back in history and we meet a remarkable man of the 18th century, Lord Horace Walpole. But see yourself.
Apart from tours to Kingston and walking trails through the Blue Mountains, you can visit a coffee plantation, Creighton Estate, owned by a Japanese company, by the way. Coffee was introduced to Jamaica in 1728 by the British. Blue Mountain Coffee is the champagne of coffee. It has a mild flavor and lacks bitterness. It's rare and expensive. One pound would sell for $90, one kilo for up to 160 euro. The soil is rich in the Blue Mountains and the climate is cool and misty with high rainfall. Perfect for an exceptional coffee. There are a lot of fake beans around. It's estimated that 10 times of the annual harvest is sold. A miracle. So beware. Ian Fleming, the author of James Bond, loved this gourmet coffee. In Live and Let Die, James Bond describes Blue Mountain coffee as the most delicious in the world. And for 300 years, Jamaica was the richest and most valuable colony in the British Empire. Sugarcane and coffee made plantation owners rich and financed many beautiful estates back in Old England. Today, 80% of all Blue Mountain coffee is exported to Japan. The Blackwells have lived in Jamaica since 1625. As a child, Chris Blackwell was often taken by his mother Blanche Blackwell, the long-term mistress of James Bond author Ian Fleming, to the guest house of the Strawberry Hill Plantation for tea and cake. So when a window of opportunity opened in the 70s, the later music mogul bought it at once. Despite all these heroes of music and despite the luxury, Strawberry Hill is a discreet gem and lights only lowly on the glitzometer. Maybe that's why it is my favorite hotel in Jamaica. 
Though there is an unforgivable sin, there are no strawberries in Strawberry Hill, at least none that I found. Hope you liked our little excursion. Please subscribe, like, watch other In Bed With Luxury clips and see you next time. Your Charles Paddington.